Hello, everyone. I've done more work on the automation program I was working on. Not only have I pretty much completed the mouse automation part, but I've also added an algorithm for randomly walking around, too. So we'll take a look at that, and then we'll take a look at the actual code behind the program that I wrote to do this. So let's load up the program. Loading up the program. And here we go. Hands off the mouse and keyboard and, and it just walked us right off a cliff. So it moves the mouse around, nice as can be. And then also at random intervals, it'll make us walk here and there. We can take a look from, from this angle so we can see what it looks like. We still get a little bit of spinning on the mouse. And the reason for that is if you play the game in a smaller window than the full resolution of your screen, then when the mouse travels farther than the resolution of the window, it'll do some weird spinning stuff. If you were playing the game full screen, you shouldn't get that. Now we'll get to the, uh, this other view here, the sort of behind us view or looking at us view and all of the mouse movement and all of the walking is automated. It's all, whoop, so there's a little bit of the spinning, but it's all automatic. So if you wanted to, you could put your character in a protected place, like a room or something, and run this program, and then just leave your character, leave, leave your computer to run overnight or whatever, and they would continually look around and walk around, so they shouldn't be kicked for inactivity on pretty much any server. Now, why you would want them to stay online, not doing anything overnight, uh, who knows, but it's a possibility. So now let's take a look at the code that makes all of this possible. So this is the code for the program. It's written in Java. And first I have to say that, yes, I know some of these class names aren't idiomatic Java. But that's fine. This is just a simple little program. So first we start off with the main class here with our entry point, the main method in the main class. We create a new robot object, which allows the program to control the mouse and the keyboard. We create a new random object for random numbers and we create a new mind click walk object which is the thread that allows the character to walk, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Then the program sleeps for three seconds. Then we get the size of the screen, which we then take the, the width and the height from. We start the walk thread, which again, we'll look at in a little second. And we have the, the loop variable, a Boolean, which we set to true. And then the main loop where first we get a random destination for the mouse cursor. For instance, you know, here on this, here on the screen or here on the screen, wherever. Then we find out where the mouse cursor is right now, currently. And we take these variables and set move X to one and move Y to one. That means we're going to increment the mouse's position by one pixel at a time. But then we check to see if the destination is less than the current position in either the X or the Y. And if it is, then we set move X and move Y to minus one, meaning that the cursor will move up the screen instead of down. Then we have a Boolean move cursor, which we set to true, which then controls this loop right here. 
where we basically move the current position of the mouse cursor one pixel at a time, either up or down the screen. This right here, this system out print line message is just for debugging purposes. So I can see the current position of the mouse and the destination position of the mouse. And then we move the, the mouse cursor meows. We move the mouse cursor by that one pixel, either, either one or minus one. Oh, there we go. It moved some of the text, depending on whether we need to move up the screen or down the screen. Uh, see on the screen, the top left corner is zero comma zero and the bottom right corner is whatever the, the dimensions of your screen are, whatever the rev resolution of your screen is. Then we check to see if either the current X or the current Y equals destination X or destination Y. And if it does, then we set move cursor to false, which means we'll get out of this loop right here if that occurs. And then after doing this check right here, we uh, have the thread, the main thread of the program sleep for five milliseconds before continuing on to the next iteration of the loop where it moves the mouse bit by bit by bit. And if current X equals destination X or current Y equals destination Y, and therefore move cursor equals false and we get out of this loop. Then the next thing we do is get a random number between zero and 6,000, which we use as the next sleep time for the main thread. So the thread will pause before going through this whole loop again. So that way there's a random amount of time between when the mouse cursor moves around the screen. Now I mentioned before that we have this walk object, which is a thread which handles the walking. All of this right here just handles the mouse movement. This, the walk object handles the walking and it's a separate thread. So that way it can run at the same time as the walk object. So here's the code for the walk object. Pretty simple. The object extends thread so we can launch it as a thread. We have the main public void run method and we have, we create a new robot object, a new random object. We create an array that contains the W A S D keys in it. And then here's the main loop of the walk object thread where first we have the walk variable and set that randomly to either true or false. If it comes back as false, then nothing really happens. We just wait six seconds and then check it again randomly. Now, if it comes back as true, if the walk object randomly comes back as true, then the next thing we do is we get a random position in, in this key array here. And after we get the random position, which is saved in the index variable, we press that key. And then while the key is being pressed, we wait for between zero to three seconds. And then we release the key. So that way you move in a direction for a little bit and then stop. And then just like before the program or this thread waits for six seconds and then checks again to see if it's going to walk uh, some more or wait a little bit longer before walking again. And so this, all of this is running at the same time as the code for the mouse. So that way the mouse can move on the screen. Your character can look around the, the game while also walking 
at the same time. Now, sure, there are other ways you could implement this. There are many other solutions you could use. There are probably more elegant solutions you could use, but this is just the solution that I came up with and it works well enough. Now with more code, a little more complex co uh, code, you could have it walk in two directions at once, like up and to the right, for instance. Um, and you could also add some jumping around if you wanted to, and some more advanced walking commands and algorithms. But this is what the code is right now for the little program to automatically move the view of your Minecraft character and have your character walk around just for the fun of it. If you want to help keep your character from going idle on a server, if you want, whatever the reason may be. So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you did, be sure to like the video. That helps the YouTube algorithm figure out that people want to watch this video. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can be notified of more videos. And tune in again next time.